<laughs> Our 10th and penultimate race of the day, the Yokohama Low Cost Championship. And we've got our top three. We're going to find our race winner, Sean Brame, first and foremost. Sean, uh, let's squeeze in. That looked like a really fun race. Oh, that was so exciting all the way through. Yeah, picked in the early part of it, just picked one or two off and got up behind um, Dan and Paul. Yeah, we're just tossing all after that. I had two or three laps just being precise, catching them. And then Dan had a moment and shot off. And that was, yeah, good last few laps between me and Paul, just dicing with each other. Yeah. It looked so close. I think it was about three seconds separating the top six. And we didn't get to see much of the racing happening out there. But just looking at the times, just everyone was changing positions every other lap. Yeah, there's two long straights here. The toe comes in such, uh, make play such a big part. Um, yeah, I mean, because of being in the valley, you can only see half the circuit at the time. But I mean, most of it, we're on a six car train. And we're just swapping around every you know, every other straight. Somebody would go past. Yeah, might break away the top three or four. Um, Lee was tailing behind me for a little while, but we managed to drop him a little bit back, which gave me the chance to then attack Paul. Uh, yeah, really good, really good. You mentioned the long straights and the slipstream. Was that making it particularly difficult to defend, and was it a case of almost wanting to be in second going on to the last lap? Oh, definitely. The one thing we like us, you do not want to be leading on the last straight of the last lap. Um, I fell foul of that a couple of times, I've been leading and lost it, but here, no, Paul made a good move around the outside, but I let him go, knowing I'd get him on the next straight, uh, and I did, and I made it clear, and then just a case of holding it all the way to the line then, which I managed to do, so, all good. Smart thinking, good race, craft and a good race win. Thank you, very much. Right, we're going to move on to find our second place finisher, Mr. Paul Clark. Hello, Paul. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, not too bad. How are you doing? Because that looked fun. It was fun. Well, until the last lap when uh, Sean done it. But no, fair play to him. I'll take that out of Sean. He's done it long enough and finally get his first win. Uh, it's all his today. And it's, we just, we're just runners up to him. So, yeah, fair play to Sean. Also. I didn't even realise it was his first win. You can just say you gave it to him to make him feel good. No, I didn't. I tried everything I could, but he was just so quick. I see him coming. I'll say I was... At, ahead of him in Dan's toe and then they nearly had it come together up the top of um, the hill there but yeah he was too quick he was too quick I've done everything I could but I'll take that out of this weekend I'm just glad I'm finished to be honest. Sean was mentioning how difficult it is with the toe to be able to keep drivers behind how does that kind of affect how you really strategize the final few laps of the race? Wow I think he slowed down a bit at the start finish line but um, I had to go for it I had no choice but um, they were coming behind but yeah he, he played it well and fair play to him like I say he deserves everything uh, all day long so happy days to him fantastic job and uh, good luck for tomorrow yeah, just a big shout out to Stuart, Stuart Sellers to get me out earlier on um, Dan for running me and uh, Chris Page who had the crash at um, Coombe and the Clio he's got a GoFundMe page so if everyone can have a couple of quid it'd be grateful but yeah appreciate it cheers cheers Paul right we'll move on to our third place finisher my, my only technique of finding drivers is to see who's got the cool celebratory hat. And um, I can't actually seem to find Daniel Garrett. So, oh, there he is. Daniel, you need to get the hat on, otherwise I don't know who you are. <laughs> yeah. All right, mate. How's it going? All right, good? Yeah, not too bad. Me? Fast lap in the race, loads of pace. There was yeah. that one lap where you dropped down the order, but you managed to fight your way back up into the podium. I did, yeah. I think I was being a bit stupid. And um, luckily, uh, luckily, Sean saw me. I locked up, I went forwards, I come off, and then um, I, by the time I looked back and got on the track, I was fifth, so just had to work my way back up. <laughs> so. You made it a bit more exciting for yourself. What's the plan then for tomorrow? Because from what I've been hearing, with the draft and the tow that you guys are getting, yeah. overtaking's not as much of an issue as no. it is for some of the other series. No, if we were racing tomorrow, <laughs> it would be all right, but brand should be good because it's a, a really small circuit. Um, and it's just it's, it's always like 10 cars for a lead so that's going to be good yeah. I forgot yeah today this yeah. was your last race you all get done on a Saturday home time mate yeah, <laughs> yeah. part time races <laughs> oh I'd happily go out again yeah go and talk to Giles about that <laughs> I don't know we'll, we'll see what we can string together so, so what was your result in the first race of the day first race uh, first um, that, I'm really happy with that um, and then yeah I was sort of trying to play with Clark and trying to swap places and just go as fast as we could um, and then I think I got a little bit too cocky if I'm honest <laughs> and then I dropped back a little bit too far and uh, come third <laughs> well on the plus side you won't go home thinking what if I had gone for it no 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 every every low cross race is brilliant you know wherever you finish honestly it really is good so take third out of this lot 
yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, fantastic job, Daniel, and best of luck for Brands Hatch. Nice one, thank you, mate. Nice one. So with that, we only have one more race remaining for the 750 Motor Club on Saturday. Don't go too far back, you're about to get run over by a Volkswagen. Uh, but we've got our final race coming up, the Toyota MR2s.